excited to see Chris Sale on the mound here at Truist Park. He looked really good in that first start and the reality is with Spencer Strider down I think for every starter that was in this rotation they become just a little bit more important but a good note there on the velo that we saw from Chris Sale that is certainly an encouraging sign. Let's hope he doesn't give up a leadoff homer to Marte even though Cattell has homered leading off each of the last two games. 2-2 two -two. slider that time got him to swing through it. And Chris Sale, after nine pitches, takes care of Cattell Marte. Weak contact. Olsen's got it. He'll take it himself. So two outs and nobody aboard for Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Eighth pitch of the at bat. Line to left. Kelnick has it. And Chris Sale has a 1 2 3 top of the first. Well, nothing in the first for the Diamondbacks. Braves come up against Ryan Nelson. Who, after a solid spring, Ryan stumbled out of the gate a bit. He went just two and two third against the Yankees last week. Ronald Acuna Jr. will lead it off. Three two, popped up. Walker is got it. One out, nobody aboard. And the batter will be Aussie Albies. Swing and a weak ground ball to first, fair ball. Walker has it, no problem. This time he'll take it to the bag himself. And now two quickly retired for the third baseman Austin Riley. This might stay playable. They're keeping Christian busy over there. Foul ground, sunny sky, and he's got it. And a good start for Ryan Nelson. Well, Christian will lead off the bottom of the second in the cleanup spot against Chris Sale. Drop locates inside. It's more over the middle of the plate, but it works. 95 on the gas from Sale takes care of Walker. Here is Eugenio Suarez having a great series here in Atlanta. Swing and a miss. Five batters faced, three strikeouts for Chris Sale. If you could replicate this pitch, nobody could get to it, and there it is, replicated once again. You're late every time. You're late and you're under it, and it's amazing. As there's a swing and a ground ball left side, Riley has it, and on the run, throws a little wide at first, but a good stretch by Olsen to keep the toe on the bag, and Sale has his second consecutive 1 2 3 inning. We're scoreless into the bottom of the second. Middle three coming up for the Braves. Olsen, Ozuna, and Harris facing Ryan Nelson. Matt Olsen cranks this. Hello, Chop House. One to nothing, Atlanta. Matt Olsen with his third homer of the year. That was a missile. That's what you call a no doubter. Yeah, he let him back in the count. I mean, you go right middle, middle to him. He drops the barrel on it. Beautiful swing. 408 feet. And here's Marcelo Zuna. And a ground ball out to short. To his left, Alexander dives in the dirt, pops up, throws over, and he pulls Walker off the bag. Ozuna's safe. Going to be a tough play to make either way, but Alexander out there barking at himself for his throw going up the line. One out here in the second inning. Here comes Orlando Arcia. That ball is fair, and it's a hit. Gurriel gets to it quickly, so the runners at first and second with one away. Kelnick now. Kelnick to right field, and that drops. Gritchick had to play it off an awkward hop. Now, Ozuna waited to see if it would fall, so he does not score, but the bases are loaded. Chadwick Trump getting the start today for Travis Darno. He hits it out to Gritchick. Ozuna gets ready to tag. The Big Bear is rumbling home, and it is two to nothing Atlanta. I know that's an automatic send, but it certainly wasn't going to be an automatic run because we know Marcel does not run particularly well. And Randall Gritchick's got a pretty good arm, and he knows how to play that position. Going back to last year, nine outfield assists for a guy who wasn't playing every day. Acuna will bat now, popped out to lead off the game for the Braves. Two on, two out. And they have challenged Ryan Nelson to miss more bats, develop some more swing and miss. This would be a big spot for that right here. Here it is. Ryan Nelson got that fastball in there, but Atlanta gets two. And after two, they lead it 2-0. Chris Sale, a 2-0 lead. He sent down all six he's faced, and Blaze Alexander, the shortstop, leads off the Diamondback third. A little tapper. Sale has very calmly picked it up. Whoa. He's done that once or twice, but a bad throw. Gets away from Olsen, and Alexander's at second. I think they're oh. going to call him out. Home plate umpire Adam Hammery came out from behind home plate immediately. I'm guessing that Blaze was probably out of the baseline. And keep in mind, this is where the new rule comes into effect. The dirt to the left of that white middle line is a safe haven for the runner. He doesn't have to be in the running lane. It's all of the dirt, and he's okay. Let's see. Yeah, he's way off. Oh, come on. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's an easy call there for Adam Hamry. Well, Tori Lovello has been a little frustrated here, and he might use this moment to maybe create a spark. But that was very accurately called correctly by Adam Hamry. Yeah, sure looked like it. 
Swing and a miss. That is the 22nd 100 strikeout of Chris Sale's career. And Newman grounds it to Ozzy Albies. And Chris Sale cruising right along as we head to the bottom of the third. How about Ryan Nelson? We'll take that inning and put it on the wall. He got Albies, Riley, and Olsen. Ryan Nelson has struck out four consecutive Braves. Diamondbacks on the wrong end of a 2-0 score. Corbin Carroll grounded out his first time up. Corbin, another first pitch swing. This one is going to drop in front of Kelnick. And that's the first Diamondback hit their first base runner against Chris Sale. And a one-out base runner for Lourdes. Little squib shot. It's going to be a tricky play. Albies won't get it. Corbin heads for third as it rolls into right. And out two on and one out for Walker. Now Sale ready. Big pitch coming up. And he will step off and look at first base. That's the second of two disengagements for Sale. I'm surprised that more base runners at first when a pitcher's out of disengagements doesn't, right as he's coming set, do one of those fake takeoffs just to try and startle the pitcher at third base. I think pitchers are pretty well trained that nobody steals home on a straight steal. It just doesn't happen. That's why, and now he just stepped off as he came set, did sail. That's a disengagement and that is a balk. Well, there you have it, the work done for you. Carroll will score and Gurriel the second as we talked about the very issue. But now Walker can tie the game with a base hit. 2-2 two -two swung on, that's hit towards right center field. Long run, Harris can't reach it, it's down. He cuts it off before it gets to the wall. Gurriel gonna try and score anyway. No throw to the plate, an RBI single by Walker and we're tied at two. And Michael Harris now. Michael Harris, right center field. So long, and Atlanta is back on top. Michael Harris with a bomb over the bricks and right. That didn't take long to grab the lead back. I certainly didn't hear a change up, slightly elevated. Still some decent movement as Michael goes out, hooks it, squares it up. Mentioned the home run ball was a problem last year for Nelson. 24 of those allowed and two so far here this afternoon. Nobody aboard and here is Ozzy Albies. That ball's fair and it got by Walker somehow. It's going to be extra bases. There goes the helmet for Ozzy. He's got a stand up double. So an insurance run at second base and now Austin Riley. Austin Riley gives it a ride. Left center field. There's your insurance. Five to two. Well, that's the sound you want guys when you hit a baseball. That was a no doubter. This one just spun on Castro. Hangers go a long way. Two down runner at first. Ground ball to Matt Olson. Braves win and they sweep the reigning NL champs and Atlanta is 6-2 to start the season.